All right, it is time for Harold to fight in the Beatles Cup. It's day 22 of year two, so I guess let's just get to it. Welcome to the Come Together Beatles Cup. I am your host, Dexter Almanza, joined, as always, by my lovely co-host, Rick Longbottom. Rick? Hey, it's good to be here, Dex, for another annual installment of the Beatles Cup. We have eight bugs pitted against one another for our amusement and entertainment. Honestly, I can't think of anything any more enjoyable. Right you are, Rick. For the second match of this tournament, we have newcomer Harold the Kabutarimon facing off against seasoned vet Dokunamon. And this has proven to be a bit of a controversial pairing of sorts. Yes, and allow me to field this question and fill in our viewers at home. See, Dokunamon is a rookie-type Digimon, and I think it's safe to say has no real place fighting in this tournament against the more heavy hitters like Kabuterimon and Kawagamon. Well, with Harold blasting Dokunamon over and over with his prominence beam attack, it's certainly hard to argue. I should point out that any opinion expressed by either of the hosts is not necessarily condoned by the Come Together Beatles Cup, and is not an official opinion. And with that final blow, Harold has advanced to round two and defeated his opponent in less than 30 seconds. Truly something to behold. In all my years hosting the Beetle Cup, I can't think of another match that ended as quickly. Well, actually, there was one faster than that back in the Tournament of 97. Tentamon stepped in the arena only to have a massive heart attack five seconds in. It was tragic, but also exhilarating. I can imagine that really gets the blood pumping. Well, not for Tentamon, it didn't. For this fight, we have Kabuterimon fighting longtime rival Kawagamon. These two hate each other's guts, and I don't understand it. They're both bugs. You'd think they'd be able to resolve their differences. You'd be surprised, Rick. Bugs can hold quite the grudge. Anyway, it's looking as if this match won't be nearly so easy for Kabuterimon. Yes! If Harold could defeat the courageous Kawagamon in less than 30 seconds, it would be something for the record books. But as it stands, I just don't see that happening. And in fact, as I am speaking, more than 30 seconds have already passed. So it's a bit of a moot point. Furthermore, as I am speaking, more than 40 seconds have passed. So he won't be breaking this particular record either. I also don't mind mentioning that more than 45 seconds have Moving passed. Moving on, I think it's time that we explain some of the rules of the Beetle Cup. Once the timer runs out, whichever Digimon has received less damage advances to the next round, unless there's a knockout. And it looks like Kawagamon's using his finishing move. It may be unprofessional for me to pick sides in this rivalry, but I think Kawagamon's finishing move stinks. If you want to see a good finishing move, just take a look at Kabuterimon's Electro Shocker there. It has flair and pizzazz, and you just don't see that with Digimon these days. Rick, some might find that statement inflammatory and needlessly controversial. Well, it's not that I find it a bad move per se, it's just show me something new. He's got these big pincers, and of course he's gonna bite with it. Kabuterimon, meanwhile, is conjuring this electricity out of thin air. For lack of a better phrase, it is literally electrifying. If you say so. Hercules, Kabuterimon, and Kunamon squaring off to see who will advance to the finals. No real surprise that Hercules, Kabuterimon wins out. Hercules, Kabuterimon, or H. Kabuterimon, has won the Beetle Cup the past nine years in a row, looking to make this his 10th consecutive win. Will Harold be able to stand up to his evolved form? Ooh, that war cry gives me chills down my spine, although I also might be having a stroke. It's hard to tell at the moment I will have to report back. Harold having a bit of trouble getting started. Both Kabuterimons are now poisoned, which means they'll be taking poison damage regularly over time. 
If this is looking to be a pure numbers game, I think H cover Tarimon is gonna have the upper hand here. Oh jeez, Hercules Kabutarimon is equipped with his own prominence beam, which looks to be even more prominent than Herald's. Yes, things don't look good for our underdog and newcomer. I think it's safe to say that attack just about wraps it up. Either H Kabutarimon will get him or the poison will. And it looks like he's going for his finishing move, even though Harold only has 51 health remaining. While this is absolutely a legal move, it is the very definition of unsportsmanlike conduct and a downer ending for this year's Beetle Cup. Okay, real talk again. Got the horn helmet as a second place prize, and that is just unacceptable. I need that first place prize. Horn Helmet allows you to digivolve to Kabuterimon. So hey, Kabuterimon, do you want to become a, uh... Oh no? Oh, I can't imagine why not. So yeah, gonna, gonna try it again. Gonna do some save state magic. Bending time and space to my will to try the Beetle Cup over again. And I think I'm just gonna maybe mix up my techniques, maybe try and just have some faster moves. Because, goddamn, if that... Hercules Kabuterimon didn't kick our ass. It's going pretty well until then. Welcome to the Come Together Beatles Cup. I'm your host, Dexter Almanza, joined, as always, by the effervescent Rick Longbottom. Rick? It's good to be here, Dex, although it feels as if we've been here before. I suspect there may be some sort of temporal distortion going on as reality folds and bends around us to reconfigure itself in some more palatable fashion to the individual behind it. That's certainly an interesting theory, and while I do have the distinct sense of deja vu, let's get on to the match at hand. Kabuterimon and Hercules Kabuterimon facing off in round one. I could have sworn these two fought in the final round, but that... That doesn't make sense, because we're watching it for the first time now, so I just must be mistaken. Dex, I think I might need to lie down for a second if you can cover for me. Sure thing, Rick. Harold's using a Spitfire technique to interrupt Hercules Kabuterimon as he tries to charge up and give his stats a temporary boost. He's still giving his stats a boost, but these interruptions have to be annoying as heck, if you'll pardon my language. And it looks as if these spitballs are just too fast for H. Kabuterimon. They're not doing a ton of damage, but they don't need to. As long as Harold can keep up the pressure, H. Kabuterimon won't get a chance to get an attack in. Okay, I'm back. I don't wish to alarm you, Dex, but my memories of my wife and family are slipping away as we speak. But let's get into that later. We need to focus on this match. Rick, I never knew you were married. Well, I'm not now, but I think that I used to be, and that we've been teleported into some hellish alternate dimension. Hang on, I need to write this stuff down before I forget. Okay. Getting back to the fight, it seems as if this tactic is not going over well with the crowd. They are booing this cheesing of H. Kabuterimon, and for good reason. These people paid good money to see this fight, and all they're getting is one side shooting fireballs into the other's face. Rick, didn't your wife once mention she hates Digimon who use these cheesing tactics? By who? Fantastic. All right, got the Beetle Pearl, first place prize. That's all I ever wanted. 
The fight against H. Kabutarimon was actually the first round fight, so not quite the climactic victory I was hoping for. Uh, the fight itself was also um, a little cheap, but I honestly don't care. I got my Beetle Pearl, and that's, that's all I care about, so let's maybe use this sucker. And, uh, well, it's time to Digivolve. So I had tried to get Hercules Kabutarimon through natural Digivolution, but it wasn't going to work out. I think I might have overleveled some of his stats too much, and Harold was just going to de-Digivolve from Kabutarimon. I was planning on doing the, the Beetle Cup regardless, but since he was just going to die and not, not turn into H Kabutarimon, that was all the more motivation I needed to win it. So. Hercules Kabutarimon says he's an ultimate, but I'm pretty sure he's actually a mega type. It's just for the purposes of this game, he's considered an ultimate. If he had Digivolved naturally, my Tamer level would have gone up, which is just, I guess, bat bragging rights. But I had to use a Digivolution item, so it doesn't count. Rest now, Harold. You have earned it.